Hello and welcome to this video on the history of printing. Printing is the process of reproducing text and images on a material such as paper, cloth, or metal. Printing has been a vital tool for communication, education, and culture throughout human history. In this video, we will explore the origins, development, and impact of printing in different regions and periods. The earliest forms of printing date back to ancient times, when people used stamps, seals, and coins to imprint patterns and symbols on clay, wax, or metal. Around 3000 BC, the Sumerians and the Proteolamites in Mesopotamia used cylinder seals to certify documents written on clay tablets. These seals were carved with designs that could be rolled over wet clay to create impressions. Another early form of printing was pottery printing, which involved pressing or stamping designs onto clay pots before firing them. Pottery printing was practiced by various cultures, such as the Minoans, the Egyptians, the Greeks, and the Romans. Pottery printing was also used to create the first maps, such as the Babylonian map of the world, which dates from the 6th century BC. One of the most ancient and widespread forms of printing was textile printing, which involved applying dyes or pigments to fabrics such as silk, cotton, or wool. Textile printing was used to create decorative patterns, religious symbols, and political messages on clothing, banners, and flags. Textile printing was developed independently by different civilizations, such as the Chinese, the Indians, the Persians, and the Europeans. The first form of printing that used movable type was wood block printing, which originated in China around the 7th century C during the Tang Dynasty. Wood block printing involved carving a block of wood with the desired text or image, applying ink to the surface, and pressing it onto paper or cloth. Wood block printing was used to produce books, scrolls, posters, and cards. The oldest surviving printed book with a precise publishing date is the Chinese Buddhist Diamond Sutra, which was printed by wood block on May 868 C. Wood block printing spread from China to other parts of Asia, such as Korea and Japan, where it was used to print religious texts, literary works, and art. Wood block printing also reached Europe by the 14th century, where it was used to print religious images, playing cards, and calendars. However, wood block printing had some limitations, such as the fragility of the blocks, the difficulty of aligning multiple colors, and the inefficiency of carving a new block for each page. The invention of movable type, which allowed the reuse and rearrangement of individual characters, was a major breakthrough in the history of printing. Movable type was invented by the Chinese artisan Bai Sheng in the 11th century C during the Song Dynasty. Bai Sheng used clay to make the type, which he baked in a fire and glued to an iron plate. He then coated the type with ink and pressed it onto paper. Movable type was also invented independently by the Koreans in the 13th century C, who used metal to make the type. The oldest printed book using metal movable type is the Jikji, a Korean Buddhist text which was printed in 1377 C. Movable type did not become widely used in China or Korea, mainly because of the large number of characters in their languages, which made the process cumbersome and costly. However, movable type was adopted and improved by the Europeans, who had a smaller alphabet and a greater demand for books. The most famous European inventor of movable type was Johannes Gutenberg, a German goldsmith and printer, who created the first printing press based on previously known mechanical presses and a process for mass-producing metal type. Gutenberg's printing press, which was developed around the mid-15th century, consisted of a wooden frame that held a metal screw that pressed a paper sheet against an ink type. Gutenberg also developed a special alloy of lead, tin, and antimony for the type, and a new oil-based ink that adhered well to the metal. Gutenberg's printing press was able to produce up to 3,600 pages per day, which was much faster and cheaper than hand copying. Gutenberg's most famous work was the Gutenberg Bible, also known as the 42-line Bible, which was printed between 1452 and 1455. The Gutenberg Bible was the first substantial book printed in the West using movable type, and it is considered one of the most influential and beautiful books in history. About 180 copies of the Gutenberg Bible were printed, of which 49 are still extant today. The invention and spread of the printing press had a profound impact on the society and culture of the Renaissance Europe. Printing enabled the mass production and circulation of books, which increased the availability and accessibility of knowledge and information. Printing also facilitated the dissemination of new ideas and innovations, such as the scientific discoveries, the artistic movements, and the religious reforms that shaped the modern world. Printing also contributed to the standardization of languages, the development of literacy, and the emergence of public opinion. 
Printing continued to evolve and diversify over the centuries, with new and lower cost methods of image reproduction, such as engraving, etching, lithography, photography, and screen printing. Printing also became more digital and automated, with technologies such as photocopying, dot matrix printing, inkjet printing, laser printing, and 3D printing. Printing today is used for a wide range of purposes, such as education, entertainment, communication, and commerce. Printing is one of the greatest inventions in human history, as it has enabled the preservation, transmission, and expansion of human knowledge and culture. Printing has also been a powerful tool for social change, as it has challenged the authority, stimulated the creativity, and empowered the voice of the people. Printing is not only a technical process, but also a cultural phenomenon that reflects and shapes the values and aspirations of each era. Thank you for watching this video on the history of printing. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.